Greetings, yeah, this is about my case in United Arab Emirates. Uh, so, uh, what is this? I was playing a game now. I'm into the games. Now private in my, on my mobile and thing, tab. Hit her. I will not name the sheikh I felt this thing came from, the voice. While playing a game, I'm not even doing anything against them. Then, you know, I feel they're reading my mind, distance, mind control. Also, uh, this is a message. Uh, this is, so I was, to, uh, you know, this Tariq Masood Punjabi guy came on Facebook, on my page. You know, I'm so shy and uh, I don't like men coming. I haven't seen many Europeans or Americans come just once, uh, maybe they sent an American. I'm not sure who they sent or was he sent by someone planned. Now, according to what I'm going through here covertly, they've put me through, I can't dress for. So not a sigh of relief. I was like suffocating here with the headache, that unbearable pain through throwing up so many times that was good. But I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand up to throw and throw up and throw up. And uh, so the, in Pakistan, when I was depressed during my separation with Mr. Tissa, like, what is this? I was asking. Uh, so let me just complete. I was thinking, where, where is God? You know, beggars on the street, at least here in the United Arab Emirates, they don't have beggars on the street, but they have other cases where, I don't know what it, I don't know how to say this, right? Uh, it's a, about Islam and uh, uh, I don't mean uh, to attack all the hijabis. But, uh, you know, my grandmother was in Abaya. So in Abaya here, uh, they give you a lot of respect. And if you know Arabic, you have double respect here for what she did to us when she was in Karachi, right? So it is not the abaya you should be looking at. Uh, my mother didn't, long time ago she wore, but then she took out uh, that burqa. We came from a moderate family. Uh, respect should be given to anyone, even those who wear shorts. I mean, my, uh, um, this Haji Habib's family, Batul Haji Habib, my father's relatives. She came once and I was wearing shorts. I was in Karachi American School. And she told me, oh my God, doesn't look like you are wearing shorts. In London, I was wearing mini dresses. This Pakistani who criticizes and all this, I, I have seen him criticizing my Hindu friend. Uh, so I didn't like it though. Uh, so he he was saying and others were saying that, uh, my God, it doesn't look like you wear, you're wearing a mini dress. You look so respectable, noble, and God knows like that, right? Like it doesn't look cheap or anything. You look so decent. You, it's like you're, he told me that uh, it seems like you're wearing a hijab, you're covered. It's not the dress, it's how you carry yourself. It's the heart that should be clean. So um, this was my, uh, I just liked it. I liked wearing it on tights and all, but uh, you know, it's how you wear it. It's your heart. It's not the abaya and covering. I've I've experienced, or even as a Pakistani who knew me, a man, male Pakistani in London. Another thing I want to say is that I was saying Imran Khan, latest has come about this uh, this politician Nawaz Sharif, and his grandson. You see the rich. And he was saying the poor. But he's not going to attack Islam, right? Being a prime minister of the 
Islamic Republic or whatever. Nonsense. Yeah, zulm, unjust things going on before even Imran Khan came. We thought Imran Khan is going to make a new Pakistan, save the poor people. He still thinks of the poor people, poor, poor people. And about uh, the rich, like I can t ask a sheikh, like if you're saying your prayers came true, then there's a Quran ayat. We've seen the poor being trampled upon. We've heard the poor people coming here, their children being kidnapped or you've given money to them and brought them here for uh, these games. Child jockeys. And yet you want us not to attack Islam, neither the Muslims. And now sending like we uh, like that Punjabi guy, uh, I was just trying to bless you and pray for you. You think my mother's life that slipped away from me, we didn't pray for our mother or that my mother used to pray for someone, a, a scary uncle in London, Gokul family. One of the Gokul families was not that rich. He was uh, from a little bit outside the Gokul family, but uh, his, um, he, uh, you know, they all keep us in a family type. When we were in London also, we did not feel outside Gokul family. We felt like a part of them. So he, my mother told him he will get a Mercedes a chauffeur in six months. He said, Nuzat, I get tired. I mean, after work, and you asked me to come here. Uh, he, they lived a little far away. So my mother said, uh, Askari bai, aapko Mercedes bhi milegi or upar se chauffeur bhi milega in six months or something like this. He said, uh, Nuzat, Mustafa Gokul Jesse ke paas ho nahi hai, Merce, uh, chauffeur nahi, Mercedes to hai, London mein, chauffeur nahi hai. You know what, after six months, as my mother, uh, uh, some months, as she said it, came a chauffeur with hat on, black a hat, a chauffeur's hat on, full uniform. We were, I was like, this is, uh, I was a child, so, but, uh, like, whenever my mother prayed for someone, I don't know what they did to my mother. So my mother, uh, and kept me in a very lenient, liberal environment. Only if these uh, molesters and the pa Pakistani, cheap, vulgar, they keep away, we would have been great in London. Also, my father used to tell her, why did you come to Pakistan? But she had her family, she missed her family. We had a brother, one brother left behind in, London, in Pakistan when we were living in London. I used to miss my brother. Also, at one time when I saw someone's uh, friend's son, he looked like, or he didn't, but he gave me that feeling of my brother. I was like hugging him, kissing him on the cheeks, you know, little boy little boy and all this really like affectionate sisterly i was missing my brother abbas my father kept him because he was too small to come to london then why then my mother had to go back and uh, my father's family would come for four months they had four and a half months four months here they had uh, school holidays so what my cousin did Here, there's a lot of sex and all this power control. So it's not uh, Islamic, uh, uh, it's not Islam that saves us. Why can't you see this Imran Khan talking about poor, the poor in Pakistan? Look at these rich people. Now, what uh, uh, is it recently that uh, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia has helped uh, this corrupted man, liar, Nawaz Sharif, corrupted, head to toe, inside out, corrupted. 
dead. Yeah, they look at what they did to Jemima Goldsmith. Uh, you know, all the time she's been kept on the toes, and she has said on Twitter, it's her tweet, original, her tweet. I mean, what do you say that? It's authentic. That it continues, even though she's in London, it continues against her. But then uh, Nawaz Sharif's uh, daughter Maria uh, has said to her another tweet that it's not you, uh, yeah, poor her. She has to get into your dirty things. And don't tell me you people are not dirty and not corrupted. You bring that poor children, you Prime Minister Imran Khan has done what to you people? Imran Khan has been thinking of the poor people of Pakistan. You don't even think twice about the poor people of Pakistan. And call yourselves Muslims and go to Saudi Arabia and Umrah and Kaaba and Ghalib has written, Ghalib, kis muh se jaoge Kaaba, Ghalib? This is the way we, we should have gotten out in Pakistan and uh, protested like this, taking Ghalib's poetry. Pakistani, Punjabi, Arabs, Unke beton ko kya bol rahe ho? Jews ko kya bol rahe ho? It is not Imran Khan's, if you get nasty, uh, we will uh, give a befitting reply. You people are so revengeful, not forgiving yourself, hatred for uh, the Jews. What kind of nonsense is this? Dragging Jemima and her innocent children. First, you broke their uh, marriage, their children when she was pregnant. You brought a case against her. Tum log, tum log sabse bare smugglers ho. Nawaz Sharif. Are inko sharam nahi aati hai kya aaj bhi Jemima ko aise reply kar rahi hai Maryam Safdar. Ya kya naam hai uska Nawaz Sharif ki beti? Ka last name, married name. My God, inko sharam tak nahi aati hai. Bas abhi bahut ho chuka hai. Enough is enough. Over my dead body, I, if I die or uh, whatever torture they do to me here, I will still keep voicing against these rich, cruel Muslims. Muslims! Because His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum said that once he went to the, the Kaaba and prayed there for this, so it came true. So what are we? We are poor. If we wear a t-shirt, my mother was wearing a shirt. What are we? We were not Muslims. So in the Quran, it is written against them. If these people understand that Islam is Islam, कैसे वो है ना देखे poor people का तो वो poor Muslims अरे poor Muslims की मैं बात कर रही हूँ poor non Muslims की बात नहीं कर रही हूँ मैं कुरान में लिखा है मैंने इनको बेटे दे दिए मैंने इनको जायदाद दे दी मैंने इनको पूरी दुनिया की ताकत दे दी कि ये लोग ज़ुम करे 